you played nine playoff games in your NHL career. All yeah. nine of them were against the Sens, the Ottawa Senators. So yeah. I want to go back to the first one, which is the 07 year, because that was uh, Sid's first year in the playoffs. And you guys got beat pretty bad. The 4-1, I think the series went. What do you remember about that series and how did it change the way that Sid approached uh, going into the next year in the postseason? Yeah, I, obviously they, I mean, they had a good team. We played against a lot of our team, played against a lot of their, I guess, young guys or I mean, obviously their NHL guys were NHL stars, but they're young guys that came up through the system and in that lockout year, years prior to that in, in, um, in uh, bingo, they're all in bingo in that little rink and Volchenkov and all these guys, man, it was, they had a good team for Matt Spezza. Neil was down there. He actually blew my shoulder out too. I had to have surgery. Maybe that's why I hate Neil a little bit more, but uh, yeah, they had a good team. They had a good group and um you know, and then on top of it, they had star power and in and, and certain players as well and rock steady guys that have been there for years. So um, I just remember they were kind of touted as like a, a deep, solid, really good team. But we were kind of riding high knowing that we made the playoffs for the first time. I just remember standing in Ottawa, about to go on the ice for my first playoff game. The crowd was going bananas. And they had like this robotic, like, wah, 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 wah. And I just remember it like it continually going. And I remember standing there like Max Talbot, some of the guys in the hallway, like your hair standing up in the back of your neck. Like this is the first time you're playing for the Stanley Cup. Like, like dreams made, like everything. Yeah. You're in Canada. The rink is electric. That sound is like stuck in my brain of, of like that robotic drumming almost of that like techno sound. But it was like, it was just like an amazing atmosphere and we got spanked by them. Like we, we, uh, we fought as hard as we could, but they were so big and fast and good and talented and deep. And um, I mean, I remember after that, even though they went on to, you know, go to the final and lose thinking that, uh, you know, we were going to be good the next year. I remember talking to the guys at that time after we lost out to them and going, man, we finally made the playoffs. Like, Holy smokes. We lost to the team that went to the final. We got our butts kicked, but it was like, we're going to be good next year. Like we have something to build off of here. So, and mm. yeah, then next year was, was a pretty good year for them. They went to the final and lost in, in Pittsburgh. I was headed to Atlanta. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to bring that part up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and yeah. there, I, you may not have noticed it, but, and I, I guess it's, you're not part of the Pittsburgh team that came back the next year, but the Ottawa senators put up a huge mural of beating the penguins that year in the handshake line. And they put it down at lower gate three. So Anytime all the players were playing soccer at lower gate three, you guys would see, or they would see this yeah. handshake line. And I'm wondering if it made people bitter or, you know, <laughs> here's Sid going, you guys want to show the handshake line of beating us? We'll show you. Cause then in the next year they beat them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They've had some awesome run-ins with Ottawa in the playoffs here yeah. in Pittsburgh. What was it? Game seven, Matthew were there, right? That was, uh, you know, I didn't want to bring that up, but that was, uh, <laughs> that still stings. yeah, I bet that was, uh, that, that, was a great run. that was it. That was a great run for you guys. Chris Kunitz sinks the Ottawa ship uh, in overtime. I, I mean, they some good run-ins. I've only played Ottawa in the playoffs. They've been tough every time. And, um, you know, I, you know, regarding that mural, I remember seeing it out there. Yeah, playing soccer. And you kind of look, glance over at it. It, it. I don't know if it fueled guys or – I know Sid's like a big guy with that kind of stuff, I think, with, yeah. with having, you know, images around him that remind him to – you know, be motive like motivation type of thing. So, um, like, I think he had a picture of Zetterberg with the cup, uh, in, in his like summer home or like in his gym or something like, so he no can way. stare at it every time. Yeah. I think something like that. So yeah, something that drives you. I don't know if it kind of, uh, if he noticed that I'm sure he did, he kind of is a guy that notices everything, but, um, yeah, that was our first taste as a group. I mean, we are young guys. Our first taste is getting our butts kicked in that first round against Ottawa, but come out thinking we got something going pretty good here. And uh, funny to see that mural in Ottawa when we play soccer. Take me through, uh, since each both of you are here and played in that 2013 playoff series with Montreal, one of the wildest hmm. series I can ever remember covering. And it felt like it was over. It was over in seven days, five games, seven days. And yeah. we couldn't get enough of this series because it's Brandon Prust, it's Lars or Lars Eller, it's Rafael Diaz got hit by Griba. Uh, Paul McLean is into it. Like Colby, can you explain the Montreal side of this series? Yeah, what was it? Play what he said. I forget what number. Player, Player 61. 61. 
Flair yeah. 61, Flair 61, yeah, and then Krusty, what do you call yeah. him? A, a fat walrus. Bug eyed bug eyed fat, walrus. <laughs> a fat bug eyed walrus. Man, yeah, that was like funny. To the we were all media, laughing on like TV. Like that was yeah. crazy. And then, yeah, it got crazy. That was a massive hit on 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 uh, Eller. Lars. It was on Eller, and, and Diaz made yeah. the breakout pass. That's yeah, what it was. and uh, I know yeah. Grib. I work out with him in Saskatoon for a bunch of years. Yeah, good farm boy from back yeah, home. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, good dude. <laughs> so it was uh, it, that was a whole interesting thing. And then the last game of the series, I think it was the last game. I got no, it was the second last game. I got in a fight with Cassian, who like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, luckily i didn't fight him really it was like i i somehow avoided getting absolutely killed i see him in red deer at the memorial cup i'm covering it like a year few years ago and he's like yelling up at me at the thing and i was like was he I looked, yeah and i looked down he's like remember that man remember when i almost choked you out i was like oh yeah like, here we go i have a great picture i should go get it i think i don't know where it's down in my basement somewhere but it's someone sent it to me i don't know who but it's me standing there with like the linesman holding me and Cassian's like going like this to the crowd and there's like fights all over the place. It yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, It was crazy. So yeah, yeah, that series was something else. We had from our perspective a lot of high hopes going into the series. We'd finished. I honestly thought we were going to win the Stanley Cup. We had a really good team and it was just that short sprint of a season. Yeah. PK won the Norris Trophy. Um, Carey Price, unbelievable. I think Kerry got hurt, Gianta got hurt, Pruss got hurt, uh, Pacioretty got hurt. So we lost like some significant, um, you know, members of our team and in, in really important positions. And obviously Lars Eller got, got hurt. Um, and then it just was like a runaway. Like that team, though, that Ottawa team was like a playoff team. Like they, they came at us, they were physical, they were hard to play against. They were fast. Like Zabinijad, like look at him, the way he's playing now. Like I, crazy i look at him and i'm like he could win the rocket like he might like you never know he's playing with panarin but he's like that big strong and talented and he was that back then as well like a little much younger wasn't he, he was good bigger. like you could he was bigger he, back then he's actually lost weight <laughs> yeah like he was such a force as a young guy like a powerhouse like force with skill yeah. and strength and size and he was young and uh yeah, that series went downhill fast for us. I remember we were just like a friggin' like NASCAR, like in the in the in the shop trying to patch guys together. And I think Gianto tore his bicep. So he was he like we had a lot of guys in rough shape uh in short order through that series. And it um yeah. and came up against a real strong, deep hard work and physical team as well on top of it. So it was like the recipe for disaster for us. And we ended that was disappointing because I thought we had a real good team that year. Can you like, was there a lot of adrenaline? Cause we can feed a, it. Like you can sense yeah. it in the media, how much was going on, but I don't know how insulated you can stay from it because you're being asked about it every day. But just, and, and the comments that were coming out of each room were <laughs> fascinating to me. I, could you guys, were you all in, in this series? Like, could you sense the adrenaline? Yeah, I could sense it in two markets that the, like the fan bases were big. It was like awesome. Like Canada, you know, two teams going head to head. It was I grew up a Habs fan as a kid in Saskatoon, which is kind of weird, I guess. But like, uh, so to play a playoff game and come out of the runway in a Montreal uniform was like amazing feeling for the atmosphere at the Bell Center, like pretty untouchable in the league for the most part. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, so it was like, it just made for like, uh, it just made for like fireworks, really. Like just, you know, your, your, Matt, your team was like, mix of good veteran guys but like a lot of really good talented like depth or like promising young guys as well so it was it was uh yeah it was it was a firework series on and off the ice from you know uh you guys winning the series and and slaying the uh you know the the bigger team in the standings to yeah. injuries fights chirping in the media like it had a, it had a, like almost everything yeah, what a, but the, like it's entertainment, right? Like people look, yeah. I look back on all that and I loved everything about it. I loved the chirps. I loved what Presty said. I mean, I didn't care at the time that he's chirping our coach. Like it's entertainment, right? Like yeah. people forget there's no code. Like there shouldn't be a code when it comes to that stuff. We need as much entertainment and, and storylines as humanly possible. And we had so many in that series and you nailed it. Two close markets side by side, just a train ride to get to Montreal for us. And uh, yeah, I didn't realize how banged up you guys were. That this is like it's we're years beyond past that now, and I didn't yeah. realize all those guys were hurt. So that kind of makes a little more sense now as to why we were able to kind of have our way in a short period of time. 
and you guys didn't take your foot off the gas on it either. So probably better that you yeah. didn't know. We should have planted those injuries in your dressing room so you guys didn't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like a mind game, right? It's like, oh, they're yeah. banged up. You know, maybe you take your foot off the gas. Unfortunately, you guys didn't stepped on it on us. Yeah, you got yeah two games where you lost six to one, like I, in a playoffs. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. assuming like it just wasn't a whole. That's lot just of fun in, that but point. that explains it. When 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 Army's talking about injuries, that there's your answer, right? And then meanwhile. Yeah. We were, we were completely healthy, like from top yeah. to bottom, everybody, including our goaltending. So it, it just checked out. But then we get rinsed by Pittsburgh in the next round. So I <laughs> yeah. don't know that we really belong there. That was your prize for beating us. Yeah, good job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 